Hey guys, Joy Kasimi here, and in today's video tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to create your own Let's Get Social widget for your blog using image maps to redirect them to whatever social networking sites you want them to. Now, I'm right here in front of my blog, and let me scroll down just a bit so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Right here to the right of my blog, you'll see this little widget here that I call Let's Get Social. And basically what this is here, guys, if you don't have it on your blog, you should have it. And what this allows you to do is just basically fill up your Facebook, your YouTube, uh, your Twitter followers, and so on. Okay, and, and if you don't have one now, you should definitely have it there. Now, I just created this. I used to have this done here on the sides, but I wanted to increase the, the amount of, of click-throughs uh, to those uh, networking sites. So I went ahead and created this really quick, okay? Now, I'm using image maps, all right? And this is what I'm going to teach you guys today, how to create this here using image maps. And what image maps basically is, is that it allows you to get one big piece of of image and breaking down into chunks and, and and so you could redirect them to whatever destination you want them to go to okay and I know it's really easy to do uh, with with you know just using one little image and then hyperlinking and then get another image but you know what that could be a lot of time consuming and, and a lot of heading especially if you don't know what you're doing and you're not HTML savvy or, or coding savvy okay so the, probably the easiest way to do it is just slapping one big piece of image and then just breaking them down like that, okay? But see, that part is also difficult if you know, don't know about coding. So I went out there searching on the internet and Google and I found two ways to do it. One way, the really hard way, which is actually with a whole bunch of codes to be able to do it and make it work properly. The other way is using a piece of software, which you can literally do in like less than a minute and, and I found a, a free a site that you could actually do it and it works perfectly and I, and I could I did this one here like in less than 30 seconds okay so I'm gonna show you how to do that so you can put this in your very own website and I'm also gonna go ahead and give you this very same um, image here okay so if you like this and you're really into Facebook YouTube Twitter and Skype okay these are the top social networking sites out there right now all right if you really like this it's yours absolutely free and go ahead and put it in your blogs and wherever you want to okay as you can see right here there's no branding of me or anything so let me go ahead and show you exactly how to do this and it's very very easy and very simple to do now let's go ahead and we'll go to this website here called imagemaps.com and basically it's really easy you can upload the, the your image straight from your PC or get or get the URL of that image and just put it here now I happen to have it right here already so I'm gonna go ahead and look for it really quick and uh, where's it at uh, right here let's get social I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and then start mapping your image really simple guys really easy click on it and there it goes <clears throat> right here to the left you see my image okay now I want to start mapping this so I can actually go ahead and break this down so I can send people to wherever I want all right so it's really simple just go right here and click on rectangle you could go ahead and create your own custom uh, shape guys but you know what just keep it simple so we go right here you put it right there and you stretch out the the image okay now I like going all the way from one end to the other end width wise and then just as, as long as it covers you know the Facebook it doesn't have to be perfect guys then right here you just go ahead and uh, put in your uh, your website okay in this case it'll be facebook.com forward slash Joey Kissimmee okay and then right here you just name it the alt tag Facebook and you click on save that's it guys now that right there that little image alone is hyperlinked you go ahead and create another rectangle all right right there you set it right there you put in the YouTube thing um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it because like a long link there you name it YouTube okay and you click on save now you see how simple that was guys very easy very simple to do I mean you could literally do this in less than like like 30 seconds guys and if you're not really really all that tacky then I give you like a minute guys I mean seriously it's as easy as that okay and that's pretty much it guys that is it okay let me go ahead and refresh your memory here real quick you put in your link that you want the, your visitors to go to and then you just name it that's it alright then you go down here you get your code but right before you do this guys really quick a quick tip because this 
So save your headache. It happened to me. All right. I would suggest that you you get whatever image you're gonna get and you host it on your own website, either on your your blog or go to like photobucket.com. That's a perfect place to go and host it for free. And when you put it in there, they'll actually give you the link to that actual image. And then what you want to do here is scroll down here where it says image URL and you want to paste it there. Okay, because what will happen is imagemaps.com will only host your image for like 36 hours. Okay, and then they'll delete it. And then you, it'll happen like me, what happened to me where I went back to my blog and there was nothing there. Okay, so I came in here and then, you know, and I figured it out. So you want to do that. You want to make sure that you put in your own image URL. You're hosting it yourself. Then the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and uncheck show text links. What this will do is if you leave it checked, when you actually get your code under these image, it'll be a really ugly links. It'll look ugly, guys. You don't want that. So once you're done there, guys, with that, just go ahead and get your code. Then this little thing here is going to pop up. And these little tabs here are for depending on what your, uh, what your coding or HTML savvy type thing is, okay? Um, I'm not too, too into all that stuff. Um, I'm basic HTML. But basically, guys, all you want to do is just go here, click on this one, HTML code, and right there, guys, Okay, you click on select all and then you copy and then you bring it to your website or whatever and uh, and you you paste it there. Okay, in my case, it's on my blog. I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. I want to go into my widgets. I'm going to select the area where I want to place it at the sidebar. I'm going to drag a little text thing here, open it up and basically right here is where you're going to go ahead and paste it. It'll be blank here. Of course, I've already got it, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it. Um, but that's pretty much it guys here you click on that, uh, that save button there go back to your blog uh, And go ahead and click on refresh and then all you got to do is just pretty much just go ahead and test it out guys Hover over each of these individual uh, images Click on them make sure they go to the destination that you want them to go to and and that's it Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial as much as I enjoy creating this for you I really love creating videos like this for you guys uh, and, and that's pretty much it on how to create a let's get social widget for your blog using image maps uh, the image uh, I have a download link right below this video it's completely free unbranded so you can use it for whatever guys and, uh, and put, put it on your blog and, and I hope you get a, a lot of clicks and a lot of people in your Facebooks and YouTubes and all that stuff okay guys uh, so with that said, guys, I had a lot of fun. I love you guys for free. Peace out.